What's going on everybody? It's Bulls Nation Station back at it again with another one. Hopefully you guys are feeling pretty good today as I'm feeling pretty good myself. And yeah, we're in the midst of a dry spell, you know, as far as the things going on with the Chicago Bulls. So it's time to get a little creative. You know, I just wanted to think about some bold predictions that could possibly happen for the Chicago Bulls. You know, I'll be doing a two-part video and I'll drop the other video tomorrow. But, you know, I wanted to give three bold predictions that... It's kind of like a far stretch, but could possibly happen. And so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and dive into that. But before I do, definitely like this video if you're a true Bulls fan. And definitely subscribe to my page as I'll be uploading Bulls content throughout the year. And so, one of, one of the things I wanted to talk about as far as a bold prediction is Patrick Williams. You know, Patrick Williams, he's been on the team for some years now. He's had an injury problem, which put him out most of last year. And, you know, each year he was on the Bulls, he basically averaged like only 10 points. And so my first bold prediction as far as Patrick Williams is he ups that scoring average, you know, with DeMar DeRozan being gone. That leads the way for a lot of space, a lot of room for another player to step up scoring wise. And, you know, with Patrick Williams being in the starting lineup, he's going to have ample opportunity to score. You know, you have a pass first point guard in Josh Giddy, who could pass the rock. You know, you're going to have comp complimentary players around you. And so while Zach Levine, he's going to get his points, I feel like Patrick Williams is in a very good position to up his score anyway. And so my bold prediction is that Patrick Williams averages eight, 18 points per game. Yes, that would be a huge jump. You go from 10 points to 18 points. I know that sounds kind of crazy. But think about it, you know, if he averages 18 points, that means not only is he in the most improved player contention, but he could possibly be close to being a um, star or all-star, you know, because those are high scoring numbers. That means Patrick Williams, he has to, you know, have the ball a lot of the times. He has to be confident. But I feel like he spent the past couple years studying DeMar. I mean, he even dresses like DeMar now when you see him outside of the basketball you know outside of the court and so you know that would be a bold prediction but that would be an extremely positive position and you know with Patrick Williams I know you guys seen the video with him at his camp he looks springy he looks healthy I mean he's running he's jogging he's doing defensive drills I know that's not real basketball but just the fact that you know it doesn't look like he's showing any sort of pain on his foot you know, that's a good sign to see. So that's my first bold prediction. Keyword bold. Patrick Williams averages 18 points per game. And now my next bold prediction will be with Lonzo Ball. You know, Lonzo Ball, I'm pretty sure you guys kind of know where I'm going with this. You know, Lonzo Ball, he's been out for a lot of years. I mean, he's been out since before a lot of these content creators started their YouTube pages. But... You know, he's he's been healthy. I mean, he's been training hard. You, a lot of you guys see a lot of videos of him working out. You're starting to see more and more clips of him running five on five and things like that. And so, you know, I feel like most people that were skeptical, that were doubtful, are now realizing that Alonzo Ball will be back to start the season. Now it's just about how will he hold up this season. And my next bold prediction will be Alonzo Ball will be healthy for the whole season for the whole upcoming basketball year and yeah he's going to sit out a lot of back-to-backs yeah he's going to be on minutes restrictions and yes he's going to you know more than likely come off the bench the whole year but he is going to make it through i know a lot of people still don't think he's even going to have a successful year but i think so now I don't feel like, you know, he's going to be fully back to his old self as far as what he averaged before he got hurt. But as far as completing the whole season, being on this plan that AK and the whole team are going to put on him. I don't feel like that's not, you know, too out of this world to imagine. I feel like Alonzo Ball is going to be here the whole season if he doesn't get traded. And I feel like if he is here this whole season, he's going to be able to show some things. What he's going to show has been, you know, we'll have to see. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure all of us is hoping for the best for Lonzo anyway. And so that's my bold prediction as far as Lonzo Ball being here and playing the whole upcoming basketball season. And my last bold prediction, this one is actually going to make some people mad, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Zach Levine 
will stay with the Chicago Bulls for the whole season. So that means Zach Levine will not get traded. And th this is my logic with this. Yeah, Zach Levine, he's going to be a scorer. He's going to do a lot of good things for the Bulls. Hell, he might even help the Bulls win some games. But I feel like with his contract, you know, mixing with what the auto reports and all these things people have been saying about him, I feel like it's not going to be enough to increase his value in time for this season. I feel like by the time his value is back up, it's going to be a little too late. Maybe, you know, his value might be fully back after the trade deadline. But I feel like it is a world where Zach Levine will be on the Bulls this whole time. And, I, you know, what if he comes back to a slow start? What if the Bulls are not winning a lot of games, even though he's scoring? And then, you know, people are going to say, yeah, Zach Levine, he's back to scoring his points. But it's empty calorie scoring on a non-successful team. And so a lot of those things can keep his value down. And so it is a realm to where I see, you know, Zach Levine might not stay on the Bulls. Yeah, it's not going to be good for the young players trying to develop. It's not going to be good for what Zach Levine and his team wants. But, yeah, I mean, if another team don't want you, there's nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? And they both want to do things that works best for them. You know, the Bulls, yeah, they would like to help Zach Levine find another team. But they're not going to do it to the detriment of what they have going on. And so, and I'm pretty sure Zach Levine don't want to go to the Pistons. And, yeah, so it could be a chance to where we have Zach this whole season, you know, more than likely starting at the three-guard spot. And, yeah, just seeing how it goes from there. But, yeah, I want you guys to comment down below. How do you guys feel about these bold predictions? Which one do you think is the most likely to happen? And which one do you think is the most least likely to happen? But, yeah, I'm going to come out with a second part. You know, I'm going to get three more bold predictions tomorrow. And I'm going to holler at you guys later. I'm out.